This is the final video in our four part series on thinking abstractly. In this video, we look at devising an abstract model for a variety of situations. In the exam, you'll need to be able to construct abstract models for a variety of different scenarios. So imagine you are presented with the following map of London. How would you use abstraction to simplify it for a tourist? Which details would you remove? What details would you add, change or highlight? Pause the video and write your own list. So let's see how you did. Now, here's an example of abstracting the original map to make it more suitable for tourists. This method is including colours, icons, graphics and labels. Clearly, there are thousands of different abstractions you could use. And depending how far you wanted to go would depend on how different from the original image it looked. But they're all serving a specific purpose. Flowcharts are another great example of how we can use abstraction when designing a solution to a problem. A flowchart is simply an abstraction of our program code, the logic and flow, the algorithm of how it works. Many coding concepts like variables and calculations are abstracted from you as a programmer. Take this simple assignment statement, A equals B minus C. A, B and C are all variables. They're just labels for memory locations. The numbers stored in the variables will actually be stored in binary, but where they're stored and how they're actually stored, we don't care about. We use abstraction when programming in the use of variable names. Having watched this video, you should be able to answer the following key question. How would you devise an abstract model for a variety of scenarios? And what techniques and methods could you use? To help get your head around everything to do with computational thinking, we have a freely available downloadable cheat sheet. It's got two sides to it. There's a basic poster that reminds you at a top level what the five different strands are. And on the back, there's a much more detailed explanation. This resource is completely free from student.craigandave.org. Just scroll down and select the section that says A-Level Revision. You'll then see a section called OCR, AS and A-Level, and there's a number of cheat sheets in there, including two versions of the computational one. Just click download to get the zip file.